this is the big thing that I was talking about in the last video that I, <laughs> I took a while to make this video, but welcome to another edition to the Mike on the Mic podcast with your host, me. So we hit a big, big, big PR. I was going for a max out on box squats and I just said, I'm going to keep going till I probably can't. And what we did, I was expecting about 440, 450 and we fucking went all the way up to 500. So I hit 440 and I was like, oh, that was pretty freaking easy. So let's go up to four. I think I went up to 460, did that 475. I hit 475 and then I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go for it. And if, if I die in the box, I die in the box. I lifted it off. It wasn't as heavy as I expected it to be. And once I, I know immediately once I take the bar off the rack, if I'm going to hit it or not. And it wasn't as heavy as I was expecting. So then we just sat down and stood back up. Now let me explain this. Box squatting is a lot easier in terms of moving weight than a regular squat. I, do, I don't think I can squat 500 pounds without a box. I also have really bad knees. So I don't really regular squat anymore because I just, it hurts. And there's no reason to hurt yourself in the gym if you're trying to, you know, last very long. So I'm, I'm fully aware of that. But at the same time, I still did squat 500 pounds. So when I did it, I put it back on the rack. I took a seat and I was kind of stunned and was extremely happy with what happened. Because, you know, that's a goal that I've had for a very long time and it happened finally. And, um, you know, now we got to build off it. So the next goal would be 600 pounds. And I honestly think looking back that I definitely could have squatted more, but I squatted for probably an hour. So I, <laughs> I still had other stuff to do and just wanted to get out of there at that point. And I hit 500 pounds. So I was like, I'm, I'm good now. Like I, <laughs> I did what I needed to do for the day, especially cause I was expecting about 60 pounds less than that. So a uh, huge goal, low key almost started crying in the, uh, <laughs> in the gym. And uh, I also did it without my knee strap because I left it at home. And I think the knee strap, because I've had tendonitis for so long, uh, I use it as a crutch almost. Like if I don't have my knee strap, I don't want to do legs. But I just said, fuck it and went for it. And look what happened. So I technically don't need the, the strap all the time. I, I'm trying to get away from using the knee strap at all. But Depends on the day because some days are worse than others, especially with the weather changing, especially now. It's pretty cold outside and yesterday was really hot, so my knee's a little fucked up today, but we're going to squat later anyway. But I just wanted to also explain to you how I guess I got to that point and what I did was 12 weeks and I'm going to read you, I'm going to read through it. So basically I made up like this kind of strength program a while ago and I've seen it, it, it has worked for me. Uh, when I do this, it's technically only six weeks, but if you want to almost peak twice, you can do it for two, for basically two rounds. So week one, too many thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night. So I just keep writing. I don't need no help. So far I've done this a few times and each time I've seen an increase in my weight. And this is what I did for my squat. This is what I do for my deadlift. This is what I do for my bench. Everything else after you do your main lifts, is kind of up to you, but I do have set workouts. It's usually a, every workout is pretty damn hard. And I usually try to work out five days a week, but honestly, since July, I've only really worked out four days a week. I try to tell myself that I'm going to do five days and then usually on a Monday or a Wednesday, I'm usually just really tired. So I just don't go. And I've still seen progress because of when I actually am in the gym, I literally kick the shit out of myself. So every workout, I'm usually pretty gassed at the end, but I'm not, I'm not overtraining. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not completely dead except for leg days. Leg days, I'm usually walking. I'm like limping out. It's just repetition. Really what it comes down to is if you follow a single program, more than likely it's going to work. It's more about up to you, your diet and just, are you taking care of yourself? And then if you can do that, the weightlifting will just take care of itself. Almost. If you want to take this from me, go ahead. Uh, if you're like interested, like more, I can like send you the whole thing. Uh, it's not going to cost anything. I'm not selling this shit. It's not, it's really not that hard to like figure it out. You kind of just take things from successful people, what they've done and you kind of just make it into your own. So that's really it. Uh, it was just a big deal. I was really excited. I wanted to express that to everybody else here because you know, I had a goal, I think two years ago was to squat 500 pounds or 
whatever. It's just a big squat number that everybody wants to hit. And, uh, you know, I finally hit it and that was freaking dope. And I benched 350, which was cool. Uh, I want to bring that up more. I want to try to get to 375, maybe 405 if I can. Uh, my deadlift, I want to do 600, but I haven't deadlifted in a long time. So that's going to be something that's going to take a long time. And that's fine. I'm cool with that. Uh, there's no rush now. I don't have to, you know, peak for football. I don't have to peak for anybody. I'm only peaking for myself. So it's, there's no rush. And that's why I'm taking this whole thing slow. You know, I'm down 15 pounds. So I've been losing weight, but getting stronger. And yes, it is possible. It's just more up to what you're eating and how much you're eating. And I think I've been doing a very good job of that, which I'm, I'm proud of myself for, and I haven't, I haven't felt proud of myself of doing something in a long time. So that is it today. I don't really know if this is this is podcast worthy, but more of a special happy announcement and just a, a pat on my back, because every now and again it's it's cool to pat yourself on the own back. So if you sat this long, if you're interested, if you want to write down the notes, I'll probably put this in the link below. Well, not in the link. I'll put it in the description below of just what to do and how to formulate that and. Thanks for the words of encouragement. I appreciate all of you that reach out to me every now and again on Instagram at the Mike Sanchez underscore. And uh, we'll keep it going. We're just going to keep kicking ass. And hopefully, you know, I, I have to lose. I want to lose about 40 more pounds. So I have about a year and a half to go. So we'll see about that. And uh, if you listen this far, subscribe. I'll be keep, keep making new videos. I got to fix my fucking camera. I'm using my phone right now. But, you know, you got to work what you got. Because... It's not about the quantity, it's about the quality, or I don't really know. Whatever, I'm just gonna get out of here. Thanks for listening, see you later.